real estate investing and strategies and all that. But you know, I'm thinking about it, Brad, we really are talking about real estate investing on this show because we're talking about investing in the real estate that exists between your ears. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I tell people, I tell my, I tell my clients, real estate. I'm sorry. The most valuable real estate. Exactly. And, you know, I tell my clients and students all the time, I say, you know, it's going to be very, very hard for you to own houses, apartments, land, self storage, and all that kind of real estate until you own the real estate that exists between your ears. Um, well, this is wonderful that you're on this pathway, not on this pathway, you, you're like live through this pathway to where you're going to be able to share this with other people. And, you know, I don't know very many people walking around that wouldn't love to learn actually how to live happier because after all what does everybody really want in life or out of life and i'll let you answer that question well, it's 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 freedom and happiness and freedom and happiness comes from you you can't love other individuals you can't be a good business owner you can't have a successful marriage or relationship if you don't have a good relationship with yourself and i spent 47 years of my life thinking that love and 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 happiness came from outside, whether it was boats or cars or making millions of dollars. And look, look, the billion, billionaires are, you know, there's billionaires who are commit suicide. Money, look, look at, look at the, you know, the uh, Elvis Presley and the, the list goes on and on and a prince and, and Michael Jackson. These people had more money than, than they know what to do with. It didn't make a difference. So for 47 years, I thought it made a difference money doesn't make a difference. It may make your life a little bit easier, but it'll never be, bring you peace and happiness. What we crave as, as, as human beings is deep connections with other human beings. And you can't have a deep connection with another human being if you don't have a good relationship with yourself. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Um, and, and, and it's true with my own self. I mean, I think about in the past, any venture that I have gotten involved with and money was the only motivating factor. Not only did I fail miserably, it never got off the ground. I mean, I actually never really took action towards getting stuff done because money in and of itself, I mean, I, I, you know, I've heard in the past years, well, money motivates me, money motivates me, but you know, anymore, I don't really think it's the money Somebody may think it's the money that's motivating them, but that's not really what they're going after. They may think it is. No. Uh, like, like you said a minute ago, they think that money is going to lead them to happiness. I remember Brad um, driving down the road years ago with a business partner of mine. And I mean, he had all the toys. I mean, he had the boat, he had the airplane, he had the jet skis, he had the house you know, right on the waterfront, all that, all that. And uh, we're riding down the road and he says, Jay, why am I not satisfied? What's next? Why am I riding around with this empty feeling inside? And my answer to him was because all that stuff can't fill you up. <laughs> no. None of that, none of that stuff can fill you up. In fact, I was having a conversation uh, last week with uh, Coach David Price, who's a good friend of mine. He's also our minister at our church for 18 years. And um, in fact, there's a verse in the Bible that I can't quote, but I can paraphrase it. And more or less, it says anything that you can see, like physically, anything that you can see does not give you happiness. And everything that you see is actually temporal. The only thing that's permanent and, e and eternal is that which you cannot see. Well, there's one of them right there. Uh -huh. Happiness, happiness you can't see, but you can certainly feel it. It's sort of like the wind, right? Uh, you, you, the person listening to me right now, has everything that you ever need right this second to be happy. Think about that. Think about that and replay this a couple of times. You have right now, I don't care what your situation is, you have everything that you need to be happy right now. So why aren't you happy?